So I've read some books about Junior, and um, yeah, I know Junior was the boss, right? You didn't, he was the one that you called the shots. If he said, come down Pit Road, Daryl Walter, whoever it was, they better get their tail down Pit Road. Right. And I'm right in the middle, Kale won three championships in a row with, uh, with Junior Johnson in 76, 77, and 78. And right in the middle of all that, they're, having, they're dominating the sport fast. Kale didn't do something. Or Kale said something about the car, and Junior, in quotes, in the media after the race, is like, "He can go drive somebody else's car. <laughs> <laughs> he can talk. He, he can. He gonna stop talking about my car like that and go. That's the way he was. That's the way he was. And he he was a, you know, he was the guy, right? He yeah. was a legend, and um, it was his way or the highway. And when my dad left there, you know, seventy four, seventy five, by we lived there for four years, and my mom finally looked at my dad and said, "Look." Here's the deal. You can live here as, and work here as long as you want. I'm going back to Charlotte, where I'm from. <laughs> and so it didn't take long for yeah. him to, to leave. But when he left, Junior never talked to him from that moment until the end of his career. Man. Uh, wait, out of spite? That's the way you were with him or against him. Mm. And that's the way kind of I grew up that way too a little bit. And like when Jeff Clark, my best friend, he was on our team. But when he left to go work Rusty and then you mm. – we didn't talk for a long time because that's, you know, my dad raised me really tough, and I, I know your dad did too. And I think he did that because he knew how hard this is, you know, har- how hard it is to, yeah. to to have a place here in this sport and, and earn it. But um, but that's the way Junior was, man. You were with him or against him. He never talked to him. And my he my Junior was my dad's hero. Even through all that, he really, really looked up to him. And later, after my dad retired after a 2007 season, he, he got a farm up there a ranch up in North Wilkesboro, 600 acres, and um, had a still on it. It was really cool. And, <laughs> and uh, he, But that was kind of because he had such fond memories of living there and, and uh, all those things, and, and Junior was one of his heroes. So they figured they eventually got to communicating. Well, they, they did talk, you know. I mean, they after after my dad retired, and, you know, Junior would have those breakfasts where all those guys, old-timers, would come up there and tell all those racing stories and stuff, and my dad would do that with him a little bit. Yeah. And, yeah, they got past that, but there's something about when you walk in the when you walk in that garage, you know you you got to, you know, there's no being on both teams. You got to pick your team. <laughs> so, so how old were you were you, when you were in Junior's shop? Like you're talking about six, seven, eight. Yeah, five, six, seven. Okay, years old. Do you ever recall having conversations with Junior Johnson? Because it sounds like he doesn't talk to Bobby, and that's his driver. <laughs> um, you know, you're either with him or without him. I mean, for a six year old, I would be somewhat intimidated by this guy. I, I don't know. I don't really remember talking to Junior that much, but I love Flossie. And Flossie was, we were tight. You She's know? bringing biscuits. I mean, <laughs> exactly. you don't talk to her, right? Exactly. Are those breakfasts as legendary as they have always heard? I mean, like, I, I've heard about the Junior Johnson breakfasts and the biscuits and all that stuff. I mean, and that there was never, they never half asked that. Like, that was always, the, the, you know, the best thing you're, the Wilkes County had going, right? Yeah. Is that, is that true? That's true, but I, I mean, I wouldn't take part in any of those the old timers talking in those breakfasts. But I, for for me as a kid, you know, having breakfast at Flossie's house and Junior's house, that was just like what we did on Saturday. Yeah. And now looking back, it's like wow, that's that's cool. And and one of the things, I, my time in the sport, I just love that the time that I grew up in the sport from where it was to where it is today. I, I just think it's awesome. You experienced a lot of different layers. Did you enjoy that conversation with Doug Yates? Well, you ought to listen to the entire podcast because the Dale Jr. Download is available on all major podcast platforms.